last episode. I think everyone knows what it is. The beauty makes her move. Gee, I wonder who the beauty could be. Could it be Hinata Sakaguchi? Let's begin today's reaction. Bye, kids. We're leaving the kids again. We're not coming back. I'm not your dad. Oh, Chloe. Oh, no, these poor kids. Oh, oh, oh Veldor again. Every time Chloe is like near Rimuru, dude, it's like, boom, Veldra fucking awakens again. Cause the hero and Chloe, something there. Is there a connection? Wait, Chloe keeps the mask? I don't remember. Oh. Chloe keeps the mask, the the fucking infinite mask, the Mugen. Okay, so the hero has now received the mask. Isn't this kind of insane? Because the hero who sealed Veldora had this mask. And then that mask was passed down to Shizu. Shizu gave it to Rimuru. And now Rimuru is giving it back to Chloe, who seems to be somehow related to the hero. It's just going full circle right now, right? Isn't this like a really significant scene then? No, it's destined. It's gotta be destined. What we do? We got present for them? Oh, they got new robes. Okay. Chloe got it too. Chloe gets the robe and the mask? What the fuck? Look at that fucking traitor, dude. Look at this fucking traitor. Top right. Best fucking actor. We did this for all the kids, and you still fucking ratted us out to Hinata. What a fucking cook! <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. They ain't gonna study. We should just take the kids, man. We just kidnap these kids and bring them to Jura Tempest. Now, now, what about the substitute teacher, though, huh? What about the substitute teacher? Because the guild master is a fucking rat. But the substitute teacher on the right, was she in on it? I don't remember that detail. Hmm. See you later. When is later? <laughs> fucking season three? I don't think we see the kids ever after this. Yeah, why did you? You wonder? That's it? I think it's destined. Because Veldra was there again. Like, the, the show was intensely trying to tell us, hey, every time Chloe shows up, Veldra, boom! Remember this? And like, and here's the thing about the Isekai shows, is that Isekai shows, in episode one, they usually drop in so much fucking content and detail that the average person watching it, it just goes over their heads, right? In, for example, in, Remo in Slime, season one, episode one, what happened? It was told, Veldor casually said, oh yeah, there was like a, I was like, you know, I was just fucking the shit up in this town and then a hero showed up with the mask and sealed me. And it's like, uh -oh, okay, that's really important details. But it's like, my first time watching this, I never fucking knew. Another example, Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy, right? Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy, season one, episode one. When we fucking, you know, get Isekai, what happens? The moon god from Earth gives Makoto the powers, and the goddess doesn't give Makoto the powers, right? Well, she gives him, like, the tongue talking with other than humans, right? And then suddenly, that's, like, the most important basis on why Makoto doesn't even scale with the leveling system in that world, because the powers were directly from God. But that scene was so fucking fast, and out of nowhere, you as the average person watching it for the first time, you don't really process all that, right? So I feel like a lot of isekais in episode one, like, episode one is probably one of the most important episodes to really fucking dial in and lock into all the different details, like, that's like sprinkled in later on. Sounds like destiny, man. Okay. She might even become a hero. <laughs> like they're explicitly fucking telling us, hey, Chloe, hero, Veldra seal, mask. Maybe they're all the same thing, man. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I, I wonder. I, oh, gee, I wonder. Oh, wow. Masaka. Surely not. Yeah. Ha ha ha. It's always so dumb. It can't be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There she is. And she's also a student of Shizu, right? 
空間転移でテンペスト焦がれていることでしょうこのランガも同じ気持ちですお前はずっと俺と一緒にいるだろうがランガ voice actor needs to be paid more おおおおランガ Isn't the barrier already fucking set? Yeah, 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 wide range barrier, here it is. So he can't even teleport out. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh Soi! Who was he fighting? Wait, was Soi fighting? Because uh, Soi was back home, and back home right now, there's a. The Falmouth is invading right now. Who, who, who does Soi. Sustain these injuries from Hinata or from the Falmouth people? I know it's a clone, but what, what did the clone take damage from? Was Soe doing like um, reconnaissance for us and scouting for Hinata, or was he back at Falmouth protecting and got injured there? Because he said, You gotta get out of here right now. It, it sounds like Soe was fighting Hinata, right? But no, it's Falmouth. Clone replicates the current state. Okay. Can't even talk to Ranga anymore. Two barriers? Two barriers? Well, one, one barrier to, you know, do, do the spatial magic shit, the spatial interference. The second one to do anti-monster shit? Uh-oh, we got gluttony and great sage, though. Maybe you've been fucking sold out. Hinata with prep time, man. This is so unfair, right? Because, like, this is such an unfair fight, right? Ooh. Damn! <laughs> nice to meet you and goodbye. It's the fucking church. <laughs> Bro, changed his voice acting <laughs> to sound friendly. Oh, you came to meet little old me? Hello. Oh, I'm just a cute little slime. Uh oh, she's done her homework. She's done her homework. Uh oh. Yeah, ordinary adventure. By the fucking rat, the guild master. Guildmaster, after we gave him all the fucking manga, we babysat his kids. We fucking, we fucking like increased their lifespan. We gave him all the fucking manga and he still does this shit? Bro has no fucking shame. They haven't. Falmuth has. Ooh, the double barrier outside. Fuck. I hate this shit so much, dude! It's not fair! Oh, it's okay. We need we the, the feelings that we're feeling right now, the frustration, it's necessary so that when the pop-off happens later, it, it'll feel even better. But fuck, I I just remember this shit. It's just so annoying. <laughs> Fuck this bullshit, dude. Ooh. Shisho Hakuro. Hakuro is so fucking strict and disciplined and such a, like an Asian tiger parrot that even in this moment when he saves Gopta, he shits on him. I will face you in my incompetent pupil's dead. Biggest tsundere. I mean, uh, what? You're not an old man? Elderly man? Alright, we got Zoomer versus Boomer. And again, we're so nerfed right now. Everyone's at a fraction of their original power. <laughs> Fuck this guy, dude! Bro. And, and the worst part is, he's not even the worst one either. It's Shogo, dude. Shogo's a piece of shit. Like, he's even worse. No, not Shuna. Who saves? Gobzo! 
Because Gozo is... No, Super Int is Shion, though. <laughs> this laugh is so fucking degenerate, too. Gozo's gonna be fine. Gozo's gonna be fine. Like, how, do, how does that make sense? Like, listen to this line right here. For being weakened, you're still giving me a pretty good time. Like, think about it. They're nerfed. How are you acting superior? You understand you have to nerf them because you're so weak yourself. You couldn't face them at full strength. Yet you're acting cocky and being patronizing saying, Oh, despite being weakened, you're pretty good. Like, what? I, do you not understand how stupid this fucking sounds for you? When Guild comes back later, dude, and he fucking goes pound town on this guy. Oh, bro, I can't wait. I can't wait. Gabi to fanboys. Ooh, that was a lot of shit on Booga. Even now, the show is just doing so much fan service. <laughs> Oh shit, CGI army's coming in. They ain't nobody <laughs> believing that shit, dude. Why are you there? When the fuck did this go bleed that kid show up in the middle of the street? <laughs> just, I didn't see the entire time. You just fucking pop up when the army shows up. Come on, kid. Kid, what are you doing? Wait, what did you say? What did this guy say? I come to see this monster build nation hear about and find oh they're basically like the voice acting right now is just all lies, right? It's like, oh no, I'm a deliver justice here! It's crazy how he's just like yelling this shit. Like he doesn't even believe in this shit, but he's just saying like, oh, we have all the authority to do this shit because you monsters are evil. Ha ha ha. You guys heard it, right? The shield get trampled? The shield get trampled from this? And I can't believe how raw this is. Doesn't even answer. That was kind of cool, but what, what, what was that? Look at where her sword is. Okay, she has a sword. <laughs> he is just flexing. These are parties. Like, you could have just. Alright, whatever. Let's we'll toss it to the other hand, okay? We name a lot of people. Is that important? What she just said right now? Usually monsters have no name, but they, you know, name monsters are super strong. But then she says she's forgotten them or some shit. They mean nothing to me, so I had forgotten. Right hand of the god in the holy empire of Ruberios. Okay, the holy nation is called Ruberios. And she's a right hand of god. Like, like actual god? Like, I don't know the whole church structure, right? We don't see that many church people in season two just yet, right? I mean, in the opening, they I think they show. In the trailer in season three, we did see a lot. But God themselves? Like, a God exists? Chief Knight as well. How many fucking titles do you have? Right Hand of God, Chief Knight, and the Captain. There's the, there's the Imperial Guards, and there's also the Holy Knights. She has three fucking jobs? Sakaguchi Hinata. Holy Empire Ruberios, Chief Knight, Imperial Guard, and Right Hand of God. Damn. Student of Shizu. What is the difference between the Holy Knights and the Imperial Guard, though? Okay. They mean nothing. Why? It is not the emperor I serve. So there's another figure named the emperor. Is this the emperor of Ruberius? The holy kingdom has an emperor, but they also have a god. Holy knights serve the church. They serve different functions. Knight knights are the paladins. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 that was kind of important. That was kind of important. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not the emperor I serve. I serve Luminous. God. Right hand of God Luminous. She's not here to talk. 
Dude, she's got like rainbow effects too, right? Ah, uh, right, because they're all under the assumption that like we kill Shizu, right? I mean, technically we swallowed her up, but you know. We put her in peace, come on. Also, yeah, she's Japanese. Like the name is literally Sakaguchi Hinata. So like, don't spoil this, but reincarnation or summoned like Shizu from Japan specifically took on a Japanese name, probably a summon? Summon by the church? She don't believe us. You're speaking in Japanese! Don't- I don't trust you, you're not Japanese! And while we fucking fluently talking Japanese the entire time, yes, I understand that they're not- they're speaking like other languages. Japanese is the only medium of language that obviously they can voice act. So yes, I get that. But it's just funny to me that they're speaking fluent Japanese even though it's, it could be Isaka language and it's saying, <laughs> you're not Japanese. Just, just fucking tell her shit that only Japanese people would know. I'm a fan of Shohei Otani. Uh, actually, that's probably two in the future. Yeah, that's so much fucking prep time, man. Zolkian with the tier one sub. Thank you for the two months, man. I appreciate it. Hinata is hot. Thoughts? Um, I mean, the episode is called The Beauty Makes Her Move, right? I, I think that Hinata does have that, like, uh, what's the word? Kind of tomboy edge look, right? She's definitely, like, super strong, independent, cool like that, right? You wouldn't consider her, like, um, like a sexy waifu. She's kind of, like, cool. She's like a beauty, like a tomboy beauty. She's cool like that kind of, right? <laughs> How many arms are in this frame right now? There's three arms. <laughs> we go back, go back, go back. The animation is... <laughs> okay, she got four arms going out. She's so fast. Uh, Rimuru got uh, three arms going out. She, she, Rimuru look like fucking... No pain, no vacation. It's because nerfed, right? Three attacks and we're already down this far. Holy shit. I mean, you got a fucking anti-monster barrier up. They saved a lot of budget for this scene, huh? Yeah, the sound effects always go hard in this show. I don't know, the fucking barriers? Still being so racist against the monsters, man. Oh, you do have some intelligence. So, the spiritual body. So we can assume this as like, you know, in Jujutsu Kaisen, there's like, you can attack the soul. Or even in Spider, right? So I'm a spider, so what? It's like, you're damaging the soul instead of the physical, you know, entity. Okay. How many more hits? Yeah. <laughs> it was this dire? Three more attacks will kill you. Is it, is it because Hinata is using like, holy magic? Like, holy attacks? So like, any monster, like... Holy ma holy attacks will just like attack the soul and they'll just die. Or is, is, is it is it just Hinata? It's just a sword is special? Damn. What a fucking busted fucking sword, huh? Damn. Yeah, we did. Yeah, holy field. She got that prep time. It's unfair, dude. Yep. Magicules are purified. Magicules are basically like mana, right? In this system. Mana is purified. And if it's purified, then we can no longer use this like purified mana. That's why the monsters are weakened. And we'll lose most of the strength just keeping themselves alive. So I think someone made the point last episode when the barrier went up. You know, when families like put the barrier shit up, right? People ha were like struggling to like walk and just like, just, like even like stand up. Right? That's like the example of it, they lose most of their strength just to keep themselves alive. It's like we're pretty much like being drowned by poison by purifying the magicules, huh? Magicules are like air for a specific. I thought magicules were used by like humans and other people too. I thought everyone had access to magicules. But I thought like this terminology of purifying the magicules somehow is like specific to that. Humans don't use magicules? That is a fucking insane revelation. I, I didn't know humans don't use magicules. Holy shit. It's just for mon- what, what do the humans use for, you know, um, magic? I thought Magicules is the source of magic. It is for monsters. 
Humans don't? Humans don't? Have we ever... What notable human have we seen? Every human has been so fucking weak that we just call them idiot trios, right? Because they can't use magic. I... That... She, 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 is she considered a human though? Because she's got a contract with the demon, demon lord and shit. She just did use, like, all the flame stuff was through Ifrit, and, and Majin is uh, basically a superior being that can use magic. Now I'm starting to understand the significance of the term Majin, right? Because I was like, what the fuck is a Majin really? It seems to be this, this generic term to encompass every magical being, right? But it's like, oh, because most people, like, every human just can't use fucking magic. Only monsters can. Huh. Huh. Never thought about that. Never thought about that. <laughs> Is barriers not considered magic though? Or is barriers different? The humans made the barrier. What? It wouldn't be you though? So Hinata shouldn't have been here? Hinata could have been, like, it, it should have been someone else that would have been the executioner of Rimuru, but Hinata decided to take this specifically. Someone else should have been here instead of Hinata, but she took it personally. Because it's Shizu, a, a vent for Shizu. I wonder who that person that should have been here, man. Two more. Two and one. We got one shot left. You got hit one more time, we die. You got gaslit. Stop believing that fake news. No, 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 stop saying it like that. You simply let her rest in peace and then you fucking swallowed her. Don't maybe say you swallowed her. Does she, if Hinata were to kill Rimuru right now and get one more shot in, would Veldora die inside? How does that work? Because Veldora is sealed in Rimuru right now, right? And same with, I guess, Ifrit to an extent. And Hinata, we kind of just like absorbed her corpse, right? But if, would Veldora die if Rimuru took one more shot? Or Veldora be fucking freed? Because maybe Rimuru, you know, dies, and then there's nothing kind of a containing Veldora anymore, and Veldora just gets released out into the public? Would that have happened? I don't know. I don't know. Most humans who use magic and tensor aren't normal humans, usually half human, half something else. Yeah, I just never... I thought that magic tools were like, you know, for everybody that could use, but it's like, damn, the more I think about it, we really haven't seen like a regular human use kind of like crazy magic, huh? <laughs> We can be kind to you. Did Shizu leave? Did Shizu left Hinata in the past? What happened? Don't spoil me. But like, did, did, did Shizu say that Hinata kind of left at a certain point? I don't know. It looks like based on this scene right now, it looks like the apprentice is kind of just leaving the master due to some reason. No, Hinata left her? Wonder why. Sorry, I, I meant to say Hinata left Shizu, not the other way around. Right, not, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forget it. And so, why did they all just leave Shizu? What the fuck? All, all the apprentices, they're just leaving their mama? Hmm. The fucking guildmaster! And what, what incentive does a guildmaster have to rat out on, you know, Hinata like that, right? Because, like, the guildmaster saw all the positive qualities of Rimuru. Like, you think someone that would kill Shizu would come back to fucking take care of her kids like that? Does that make any sense? Why the fuck would Guildmaster take this shit so negatively? Like, like maybe there's something beyond that, right? Because my understanding is the Guildmaster fucking ratted out to Hinata saying like, Hey, Rimuru killed Hinata. Ah, whoa, 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 it's fucking Shizu. My, my, I'm, I'm getting the names wrong. I'm getting the names confused. I'm getting, why would Rimuru kill Shizu? All these names are getting boggled in my head. No, no, not Hinata. <laughs> why, why, why would the Guildmaster rat on Rimuru? That Rimuru killed Shizu to Hinata. Uh, what incentive is there? Is he... Who's out to kill Rimuru right? The church? Money? Is it just money at the end of the day? Th does a guildmaster get like a special title? Like, oh, you're gonna become an archbishop if you, you know, fucking, you know, t take care of Rimuru? I don't know. Because at the end of the day, Rimuru's Zero Tempest nation forming is the worst thing that could have happened to the church because the monsters are the church's, you know, inherent enemies, right? The church just doesn't want the monsters to ever have this kind of political crowd. This is really bad. Therefore, we need to get rid of them. And then they bought the guildmaster and something. Mm? Home? Oh, I thought we were gonna die, yeah. Oh, it was not settled in one strike.
俺の攻撃を観察し次の行動を予測して対応している相手にしているかのような気分だ、really? like the great sage herself? Is that important? ピーナッツ、おー、what's the third hit? No, that baited me Cameraman, come on now What was that angle? ダメだこいつは強い終わりねこの結界内でそれだけをくびっていたでもね It's unfair. You had prep time with this shitty barrier. Dead and Rainbow. Okay, so this is the power. Wait, Dead and Rainbow utilize the power of this sword. Okay, Dead and Rainbow is like the style, the skill. It's like the technique, right? It's, it's our sword way. It's like seven strike, instant death. And then the sword utilizes that. Seven strikes, though, on anybody. Not just like monsters, at anybody. Huh. Seven. It's rainbow. Seven colors of the rainbow? Is that, is that why? That seems kind of fucking... I don't... It, it sounds fucking OP, but like, seven is a lot of hits. You know? Like, 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 like this is kind of busted, but at the same time, seven hits. It, it, <laughs> I don't know. Even if it's a spiritual being that, you know, physical attacks don't do. I forget how Rimuru gets out of this. The, what? Degenerate. Go, oh, Ifrit's out to play our Pokemon? She's <laughs> a spirit, Ifrit. Come on. The fuck? Ifrit got debuffed? He just fucking mental breakdown? <laughs> Actual Pokemon. <laughs> Actual fucking Pokemon, dude. <laughs> what did you do to him? Okay. What does that mean? She can steal her opponent's abilities? Because there was a magic circuit between you. It was not stolen, but she can steal skills? I'm kind of confused on that one, but basically Hinata's unique skill... Hinata's unique skill is like stealing skills? Okay. Okay. She can steal her opponent's abilities. It's not necessarily stealing Ifrit, it's, it's stealing a skill. It's just that that skill was summoning Ifrit and she was trying to steal that. Okay, okay, so like... She can steal opponent's abilities. Could she steal Great Sage? She was trying to master ball his Pokemon? I got it. Could, could, that's a good example. Because she, uh, <laughs> she's basically team, team Rocket right now. <laughs> but um, what is the extent of the skill? Like, it seems kind of busted that you can just steal opponent's abilities. Like, for example, if Rimuru used Megido, would Hinata be able to copy that? Uh, they'll probably explain in Season 3. All right. Skill and magic is different? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I got chat GPT in my mind. Usurper. What's better, Usurper or Gluttony? I would say Gluttony is better. Gluttony is fucking insane. I feel like Gluttony is way more flexible than Usurper. Gluttony? Oh, he figured something now. He figured brain blast. Brain blast. Gluttony is the answer. Hinata. Kuroe touched that as a knocker. Oh, my no cotomo tanomare de itandaga. Okay. Bro was holding back. Bro was holding back. Shit, she was holding back too. Ooh. The final decisive move, come on! Damn, look at the visuals! Awaken Gluttony? He becomes Gluttony? That's the third strike, but... That- I was so fucking into it, I didn't even know the end of the episode was kind of- what? That episode was too fucking quick. That was too fucking quick! I, I'm usually good with when the fucking cliffhanger might happen. I was too fucking immersed. I was way too fucking immersed there. Oh, no! So, she used Awakened Gluttony. Order received. Great Sage allows it. 
that he becomes gluttony even though the third strike hits the soul and this is the seventh strike he should die now but somehow awakened gluttony will be able to bypass that man re-watching this episode is a fucking delight especially when it's the hinata versus rimu there's so many different things that i just never fucking knew the first time watching man the fact that she's like the right hand of god presumably luminous but also captain of like the imperial knights or like the guard of the fucking holy knights or some shit right there's like two different fucking squads in the church ruberius kingdom that they're on and she's basically been ordered to take this hit right someone is playing with the hearts of hinata because if rimuru was the one that killed her teacher then she has every reason to go after rimuru but we do know that the Guildmaster is the one that snitched on Rimuru, right? And basically told Hinata where Rimuru would be. Now, I don't know if the Guildmaster is the one that basically... Is he the Guildmaster or the Grandmaster? The Grandmaster. I, I think it's the Grandmaster. If the Grandmaster... So if, if, I don't. I forget the exact details, but if the Grandmaster is the one that just told Rimuru... Sorry, Hinata where Rimuru would be and when he's leaving, then maybe the Grandmaster is not the one that kind of told the lies to Hinata. Maybe someone else within the church told that lie to Hinata. Hinata then got interested in Rimuru. And the Grandmaster, you know, basically then tipped off Hinata because they're, they're friends, right? The Grandmaster and Hinata were both students of Shizu. So they kind of, you know, they, they should have ties together, right? I'm not sure exactly who is like gaslighting saying, hey, you know, Rimuru is the one that killed Shizu. Probably the ones that wants to keep Hinata in control. So maybe higher up in the church? Is it just the Grand Master saying this because the church kind of gave the Grand Master some uh, higher positions and titles? I don't know, but at the end of the day, someone is pulling on the puppet strings, and I think that it all kind of relates back to the church, right? And 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 going back to this fucking shit, like, oh my fucking god, dude! I just no, don't spell not that, that your name is literally spoiler, dude. Okay, spoil equals ban. You guys not, might not notice, but when I talk in my reactions, okay. When I talk in my reaction and, I, and, I, and I'm asking, and I'm asking like, who is this? What is this, right? These are rhetorical questions, okay? These are rhetorical questions, okay? I'm not ax actually asking for spoilers, but I, I don't blame you if you accidentally spoil because I am pretty much asking, who is this, right? I am pretty much asking. Man, I, I can't believe like, ugh, that we have to fucking experience all this bullshit again. It's so fucking upset, but again, feeling this kind of rage, feeling these emotions, it's necessary to build the plot for the revenge arc and goddamn. God damn, soon enough, we will get there. But that's it from me, if you're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.